My name is Kara Barron, and I volunteer out here at Cave Creek Regional Park as the coordinating botanist for a floristic inventory. And the reason that we are doing this is so that we can get some baseline data we, so that we know what plants are out here and where they are and what they're doing. And this can help inform all kinds of other research. It can help the um, the park management with any trails that they want to build or any conservation efforts they want to move forward with. It also helps researchers in other areas, other botanists, um, ecologists, um, anybody who's studying waterways. There are lots of things that this data can be helpful with. Um, plants can tell us a lot about what's going on in this area. Okay, so we use cameras and we use them to get a snapshot of the plants as they sit in their environment um, and we like to get um, photographs of the, the surrounding habitat as well to give us a documentation of exactly what it looked like at this time. Um, we also use GPS to get the exact coordinates because of course things change over time so it's always a good idea to be able to pinpoint exactly where something was so that if the landscape changes it's still easy to find. Well, I have a bachelor's degree in plant biology and now I am working as a volunteer with the Conservation Alliance and I'm very interested in floristics which um, is basically what I'm doing now. I'm taking an inventory of Cave Creek Regional Park and I'm also interested in evolutionary relationships and taxonomy. Um, another thing that I'm very interested in is getting people connected with their parks and uh, preserves because the theory is that if people are out here connecting and seeing what's out here and helping with bigger picture things and participating in the science that's going on out here, it gives them a deeper connection with the area that they live in and encourages better stewardship of the earth. I remember when I was in third grade, we got to look at monocots and dicots underneath a microscope. And I remember thinking how fascinating it was to see the difference and to be able to get a closer look at the inside of a plant. And then on top of that, when I was about 10 years old, I got to go visit my grandparents in central New York. And I grew up here in Arizona in the middle of the city in the desert and going there it's all forest and so completely different from here that it really sparked my interest in why is it so different um, and why can't my home look like that and the more um, once that question came into my head you know I, I started searching for the answer I started searching um, for, you know, what, why can't I grow these trees here? Why isn't the grass so green here? And, um, it's always just fascinated me. And to be honest, when I was a kid, I wanted it to look like central New York. I didn't want it to look like the desert here. But as I learned more, um, and I went to college, I really started to appreciate what we do have here because our plants are really cool. It isn't always obvious. Um, and this environment can be really harsh, but these plants have adapted to live here and they do a great job at it and they have a lot to teach us.